So, yeah, hi. As you can see, I'm not on PGs today, and I came to show you all some red menus, quick ways to set up your camera for um, a shoot, and some little tips on how to set up and what you're gonna need. Obviously, how much footage can you get in each of the configurations for one terabyte drives. I'll be shooting both on red and Canon just so you all can notice color differences in between the sharpness everything so first thing start the media you're gonna be using here i'm using the angel bird card one terabyte and in partnership with red turn it on first thing you gotta go to the menu and you're gonna go to media secure format Done. Select your project settings format. So here are your options. I'm going with 17 by 9. And then you go to recording frame rate. Those are the options. I'm gonna go with it. Slow motion. So here, project time base is similar to the slow and fast uh, mode in Canon cameras, in which the camera outputs the footage already in slow motion, but with this frame rate, let's say. So you can pick the frame rates up to 60 fps let's say you're gonna be using the 60 fps it automatically changes to 60 fps or you can go to 80 i recommend using red rock well, well if you're using reds i guess the whole point is using red rock so here HQ means the highest quality and ELQ means the lowest quality and now let's say we're shooting at 79 FPS with a 2398 output here is what you're gonna get a footage so let's say we change it to 2398 and now out of one terabyte you're gonna get one hour and eight minutes shooting the whole 79 you get 29 minutes be mindful of your footage and know that it's gonna use a lot of memory for me the usual is 2398 time-based projects and i use a lot of um, slow motion when i'm not using it i shoot 23 as well um, besides that you can choose to use angle or shutter speed. Once you press and hold the button, you're gonna change it to shutter. You go back to angle. Usually you shoot at 180 angle. For different creative reasons, you can change however you feel like. And here you have all the menus. The most important thing to keep in mind those traffic lights here. When you're using the red cameras, the ISO and the, the white balance, you can change after with the red uh, raw files. However, here the traffic lights, regardless of your ISO, they will show you what you're clipping and if you're clipping to the dark side of it or the highlights. If I change it to the darkest possible, you can see here it shows how much and what is clipping. Same thing if I open it more, it would show the clipping, the highlights, and how much it's clipping. Which, in our case here, it doesn't matter because I'm shooting towards something that is dark, but it's pretty much it. From here, you can like start shooting and 
have a great shoot. So yeah, regarding the out of focus, it's quite good. Again, again, that's it. You gotta remember when you're shooting with the with the red cameras, you can always change the ISO and white balancing post. You gotta shoot red raw. Also, be mindful to have a lot of memory. And yeah, that's it for today. Eventually, I'll be bringing the battery life because I didn't test it yet. And see you in the next one. Hope you can find some like, good tips here. And good luck with your shoots. <laughs>